our country. Otherwise, when the enemy comes, we will fight him. And trust me, there are some people just die right beside some of them. Amen. So what we are saying here, amen, amen, endure the cross amen. as a true soldier. Hallelujah. God help us. We all need that. Amen. Amen, amen. When we go back to the field, when we go to the battlefield, we don't, we don't, we don't back up. Because if you back up the devil, we'll just make a field day. Okay? Amen. Amen. Make a, make a meal. Amen. So no, we are to what? As a soldier. Let me help you. When Christ went on this cross here, when he went on the cross, most times you say, I walk over here and I rest my hand on this here, it reminds me so much of what Christ did through. Amen. It touched my heart. Amen. amen, amen. Many of us see that. What Christ did through on that wooden cross, it's three parts of the cross. The head, the, the left, and the right, and the feet. Amen. Now what happened is, what he been through, he could have stopped. He could have stopped in the middle of it and said, I'm not going no far. Could have called 10,000 And then what would have been to me and you, Deacon? Nothing. Amen. So now, he goes on and he says, Lord, if it is thy will, please help me, Lord, that I can go through. Amen. Have you been going through something sometime and you feel like you're all alone? But you're not alone. No, he's with you. So what we got to do? We got to make sure that when we hold on and when we fight and when we let the Lord fight our battle, we come out victorious. Amen. 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 God do not call us and quit in the middle. He goes with us on to the last end. To the bitter end. Because what happens is if we endure the cross as true soldier, my sister, my brother, amen, amen. I want all of us to know when we do it this year, we're not doing it for somebody else, we're doing it for ourselves. Amen. Each individual, every man that she did that you say, you trust me, we are what? We are giving ourselves to the Lord and we are asking to help us to live right that we can see that when He comes, we can go home with it. Amen. Amen. This is not about our first lady. This is not about Minister Mike or Deacon Baskin or anyone else. This is all about you and I. Amen. With our life. Amen. Every man has a gift. Every man called to do something for the Lord. Amen. I was just sitting there and I think about Sister Brown. Amen. That uh, she might not be able to um, go to the street, but she's doing ministry work right where she works. Wherever she is. And people can tell you got to go on the street. You don't even have to go on the street. You got enough people to witness that right here. On the you same block. Family, you got children, you got neighbor, you got niece, you got hey man, hey man, hey man, hey man. No, don't get me wrong. No, we are supposed to go out there. But you trust me. If Sister Brown didn't invite those folks, they wouldn't be here. That's ministry work. Yes, it is. So what happened is somebody said, well, we only come to church and we only here. No. No, I believe in my spirit that every one of us that are saved will tell somebody about the Lord. Amen. We might not go to yes, group. Amen. But every man is a minister. Every man is a pastor. Every one of us are called to do the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 Maybe you might not. That's why in heaven, when we get there, we're going to have stars on our crown. Amen. Those who win. I mean, those who witness and they get saved and baptized, that's your star, that's on your crown. There are some people that are going to have a star, but that's okay. You make it in heaven. Amen. So what do we do? We have to witness. We got to tell the world. There's nothing I'm asking the Lord for night and they save my, I'm asking the Lord to save my three children. They used to be, they were baptized there before, but I'm asking the Lord to bring them back. I, I talk to them, I pray for them, I witness to them, and I'm not proud because he's the one that changed. Amen. 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 He's the one that changed. Some of us, we pray for our family, and are we going to leave it at the feet of the cross? He and makes the, the conversion. Because the more we pray, is the more the Lord hears. Every yeah. man have a time to turn from their ways that God can come into their lives. Amen. When you and I got saved, amen, that was our time. Amen. 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 Something we hear the word and somebody pray for us and we change. Amen. So when we change, thank God for Jesus. We do not give up on nobody. I don't care who you are. I don't care 
uh, what you uh, what your background, why God got blue. No, we don't give up by no man. We pray one for another. We give our hand out to be a blessing the best way we know how. For payday is coming after a while. So if we do the cross as two soldiers, amen, we will be blessed. We will overcome. We will receive what God has in store. Let me say, it's coming to church will never be a waste. Amen. Serving the Lord will never be a waste. Your potluck supper will be a waste. Your money will be a waste. Your car will be a waste. Whatever it may be, it will be a waste. But in living for the Lord and do the will of the Lord will never be a waste. Always be. Amen. As a true soldier, endure to the head. Fight. Amen. Fight. And when I say fight, I don't mean with your fist. But use your word of God and, and bring down the devil. You cannot kill him, but you can keep him away. The word of God will do that. Amen. 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 Keep going. First thing. Verse 3. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sins against him fell, lest he be withered and faint in your minds. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you What do you do? When we going through this, when we going through the motion, or when we going through whatever we going through, my sister, my brother, don't forget, you're not alone. Don't forget, God is not giving up on none of us. Amen. 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 Because if we do, we will be alone here today. Amen. 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 As a true soldier, we have to work. We have to go through. People have to put us down. We got to go through another different thing. This is not some kind of flat by night here, everything going to be fine. No. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's rough, but at the end of the day, the Lord will bring us out. Amen. I was just thinking while I was sitting here, I was thinking about Father Perry, amen, that didn't have anything come on. at come, the time. Come on. And all that he been through, I never hear that man get up. All the time I listen to him, I never hear a complaint when well, that man caused me to do that. I was that one that me do that. No, he didn't point no finger. But he what? He stay into his lane and he do what he needs to do today, day in Atlanta by one of those biggest places. The yeah. biggest piece. You know what I'm learning? You know what I'm learning? I'm learning, I don't care who it is, young, old, middle in age. Lord, I'm asking you to help me that I don't look on nobody. Help us, Lord, that you don't look me. Because we don't know who is going to be your cornerstone later on. Amen. We're here today and we don't know what tomorrow is going to do. Amen. Let's, let's love one another. Let's look out for each other. Amen. Yes, please. Verse 4, he have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and he have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, mm -hmm. as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, mm. nor faint when thou art rebuked of it. No, you trust me. Don't despise when God is chasing you and that. Because he take us into some place, good God Almighty, we, didn't, we don't even want to go there. But he does that in order to get the best out of us. Amen. There are some places he calls us. I guarantee you right now if he calls some of us and say, let's go to Africa where there is no car, where there is no bathroom like when we flush here, and then you gotta go down in the stream to get water, and then some of us again have to carry that water in your head or whatever you gotta do. You trust me, it's why I have to be sure that God called you to do that. Amen. Because some of us don't want to leave all of these glamorous, these nice things that we have. And at the end of the day, oh no, I don't believe the Lord called me to go down here. But you trust me, he take us down into some place. He where take care he of us. Hannah and the glory. Amen. Hello? Amen. So when we say, Lord, help me to go on a mission field, be sure you're ready for that. When he called you for a missionary, when he called you for an evangelist, when he called you for a minister, when he called you for a deacon, whatever I call you from, be sure you're ready to do what God said the Lord. Because I guarantee you, he's going to take you into some place. It's not comfortable. But at the end of the day, when you came, when he bring you home, you're going to come through and steer gold. You're going to be okay. Because he's not going to take you to a place that's going to damage you. He's not going to take you to a place that stop you. Wherever I take he take you so that you can be blessed, so that you can grow, so that you can overcome. Amen. That's why some people don't, don't like to go to the Old Testament.
Testament, they like the New Testament because they are under a uh, blessing. Most people speak about blessing. Some preacher don't preach about sin. Because still they will leave. Oh yeah, Mr. Brown, you might have a nice home, you might have a nice car, and we like that when we say that. Or somebody come around and say, I'm gonna get your helicopter. Oh, we like that. <laughs> oh yeah, we like that. Right. Let's tell you, say, all right, let's go down, let's go down town and no shoes on your feet, but I want you to go down here to go witness. It's only a few people say yes, I'll go. Oh yeah, only a few people will go. But you gotta remember to follow Christ, it takes all. That's why he declared 99 and a half one preach. You gotta give him your full service so that he can bless you. Do you know where where he taking us now and where he's going to take us? Think about the blessing that he restored. Many of us, and I talk for myself, many of us, amen, we didn't have it. But now the Lord is blessing us that we have a few things now. Come on, Pastor. Not a lot, no, but a few. Because some of you, some of you, when I talk 100,000, 300,000, 500, you say, Pastor, maybe you, you need help. <laughs> That's your strength. I can stand right here in one minute and spend 200,000 like that. One minute. I can stand right here in one minute and spend 200,000 just like that. 